good idea. I might have to do that myself. Right? Right? Is that what I did? Warrior Wizards arriving at the arena. That look tells us they're ready to get down to the task at hand. Thanks everyone for joining 2K Sports for this Wednesday evening presentation of the NBA. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill and giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. Well, Clark, on paper, a bit of a mismatch here. A clear favorite in this one. And, you know, that bodes well, I think, for the underdog because there's nothing to lose. Nobody's expecting you to prevail, and it gives you a chance to play, I think, with a lot of freedom. So a look at our starters for the Wizards. Avdia and Kuzma at the forward slots. Landry Shaman is out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Bagley in at the five, roaming the paint. And so it's Washington with it. After the basket by Orlando. Back to Jones. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Magic. MP the pass to Carter. Wagner outside. Back to MP. Six to shoot. And there's the lob. And stolen by Bagley. And here's the fast break. Here's Kuzma. And no good. Oh, nice D from Carter. MP outside. Beyond the arc. Rebound Washington. 
You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. There's the three. And he's in the books. Now one for two. And grabbed for years, the Wizards resisted calls to rebuild. But things changed this summer. Yeah, B.A. And even though the return for their stars wasn't as dramatic as we saw for teams like the Jazz, I think there's a sense of relief in D.C. that the organization is resetting and trying something new. Now here's M.P. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Oh, Ben Carroll throws it down. That's high-quality teamwork. What a setup for Ben Carroll. Washington has gone one or two from three-point land so far. There's a screen. Jones, the pass to Bagley. Now here's Kuzma. Back to Bagley. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Wendell Carter. And, you know, under the circumstances, that's a good foul. You just can't let him have that throw down. No good on the second free throw. The Magic have gone three of four. Off to a nice start from deep. MP rebounded by Kuzma. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Bagley against Ben Carroll. Pass to Avdia. Here's Shamit. And here's Jones. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Here's Kuzma. Oh, nice D from Carter. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish it. He knows it. Lone opportunity. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Magic. MP. One shot. good MP you have to admire MP's obvious love for the game this guy just wants to get out there and play hard pass to Avdia Van Carroll against Kuzma doesn't go that time great D that time from Van Carroll the Magic have gone four of six in the first quarter from deep MP First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Can't get that one to go. He's just two of five now from the field. Pass to Shaman. Kuzma with the ball. He's picked up by Ben Carroll. Back to Shaman. There's the triple. Sinks it from distance. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. The offensive rebound. Carter, good. Phenomenal positioning on the glass. Carter Jr. putting on his hard hat right there. Not afraid to get those hands dirty. Now a timeout called by Washington. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. So for the Magic, Isaac, he's checked in for... Get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. There's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. They've got Jonathan Isaac. Suggs is out there with MP. Then there's Van Carroll. And it's Wagner in at the five. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Now here's Poole. His last outing, he had 20. MP way outside. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. The Wizards have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. 
Pass to Sherwood. Poole against MP. Poole shot is off. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Here's MP. Oh, some solid defense from Poole. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. Defeated by Detroit in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. Now here's MP. He's got nine. Sends it home from three-point land. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Washington trailing. Pass to Gill. And here is Kuzma. Outside Jones. Here's Gill, defended by Wagner. Gill, pass to Kuzma. Over Wagner. And again, Washington, no good. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. MP making the long-range connection. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And there's the call on Van Carroll. That's his first foul. And the Magic making a change here. Carter's checked in. Bagley's checked in for Washington. Kispert comes in for Poole. 144 left to play in the first half. And with players like Moran and Giannis last season getting undercut around the rim, would you support moving the charge circle out of foot, Grant? You know, B.A., that's a good idea. I mean, I don't see why not. The league wants more highlights and less injuries, so it seems to make a lot of sense to me. MP finds Isaac. Up high and down it goes on the lob. You know, when he's got room to lift off, he's going to power home these alley-oops. Jonathan Isaac. You got to keep an eye on him, folks. Washington shooting around 35% from the field so far. And the Wizards call time here. In the early stretch of his career, Clark, Jalen Suggs has had a tough go of it. Yeah, you know, injuries are an ugly part of the game, B.A., and he's had to overcome quite a bit here early in his career. Such a promising young talent. But I do believe when you look at the long road in front of him that he's going to show you how special a player he is. Franz Wagner checked in for Ben Carroll. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. Jones, the pass to Shamit. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. shamit has got five now. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Now here's MP. Not a lot of room. And the dunk by Isaac. Oh, a tremendous leader. MP is always looking to get his teammates involved out there. 51 seconds left in the second. Jones with the ball. No made basket yet. Pass to Avdia. Here's Shamit. Just five on the clock. Jones from outside. He's now one for two with that bucket. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And here's MP from outside. And again, it's the magic from deep. He is lighting them up from range this period. This team has made a concerted effort to get him shots. Jones from outside. It's hauled in by the Magic. Isaac's got five rebounds tonight. Goes up on the baseline. Wagner. It's good on the putback. And now it's a nine-point Magic lead. Really good work by Wagner there, turning that miss into a make. Those are the type of baskets that can swing games sometimes. And so it's the Orlando Magic with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. More 2K action in just a moment.
Hi, everybody. We've got your favorite segment on tap. As we a look here now at the Magic, it's still early, and we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but right now, they are easily the best team in the league. Well, we knew. All right, now it's time to talk about our featured game tonight. Not a great turnout so far for the Wizards. Glad you could join us. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. On the court for Washington. Optia and Kuzma at the forward slots. Landry Shaman is out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Bagley in at center. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, the Wizards not making the playoffs the last couple of seasons motivated them to bring in some youth in Jordan Poole, and the players say that they've seen dramatic improvements from player facilities, energy, and player development. They said they're transitioning, they're going in the right direction, but they still have a lot of improvements to make. Good point, Allie. Thank you. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Magic. Ben Carroll the screen. MP, the pass to Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll from close range. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Now here's Jones. Defense is right there. 13 feet out. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got four rebounds in the game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Shaman. Five points in the game. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. Oh, for their first three attempts. MP, the pass to Carter. It's stolen by Kuzma. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. No good off the back of the rim. Oh, man, what happened at halftime? Since then, they're 0 for 4. From deep, MP. Avdia pulls it in. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. A foul called on MP. That's his first foul. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Pass to Jones. The shot. Cans it with nobody near him. Jones has got five points. Finally get one to drop after starting the half with four straight planks. MP looking around. And here's Wagner. And here's MP from outside. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got four rebounds now. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. Bagley passes to Avdia. Good on the shot. Avdia's got his first basket. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Orlando calls timeout.
Isaac. He's checked in for Ben Carroll. And a change for the Wizards. Kispert's checked in for Kuzma. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Back to MP. The three. And out of bounds. The Wizards will take it. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see where everyone in the league stands. You look at Atlanta, they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. Well, I think for the Magic, they've done a fantastic job of developing team chemistry. Higher on this list than lots of people expected. One of my favorite stories so far. Bagley passes to Avdia. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Taking two shots. He's perfect from the line this time. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. From deep, MP. MP rips one from long range. Just one of six this quarter, and it looks like he's going to try to shoot his way out of this funk. Jones, the pass to Bagley. Here's Avdia. Isaac covering. Here's the pick. Here's Jones. Oh, rejected by Isaac. And the suffocating reach of Isaac is tough to overcome. And outshoot excels in getting up and denying shots. And the shot goes in. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Bagley. Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. Let's go with a three. Afia can't get it to go. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Putting on a shooting clinic from deep. He had that huge first half, and he's still rolling. Pass to Kispert. Here's Shaman. Avdia from outside, and the three-pointer goes. Avdia's got seven points in the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. It's Avdia on the wing. Shot and game clock separated by five. Jones uses the glass on the layup. Jones has got four points now in the quarter. Doesn't have to break his momentum at all to catch the pass. Picked by Isaac. And he's going for the lob! And the dunk by Isaac. Just a fantastic job by MP getting the ball right where it needs to go. Jones, the pass to Shamit. With one on the clock. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Magic out in front. They lead by 13. All right, we're going to step. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's open. Substitution here for Orlando. Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Franz Wagner comes in for Isaac. MP's checked in for Fultz. And Suggs is subbed in for Anthony. A big group substitution here for Washington. Bagley's checked in for Gill. Avdia comes in for Livers. Shamit, he's checked in for Kispert. And it's Jones in for Poole. Outside Jones. Bagley passes to Jones. Avdia from outside. The Wizards with another miss. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. Jalen Suggs out there with MP. And it's Wagner in at the three. That's who's out there for Orlando. 
Outside Jones. Over Suggs. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Magic have gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Van Carroll against Kuzma. From deep, MP sinks the tray. MP's got 30 points. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. Jones, the pass to Shamit. Bagley with it. On the wing, Kuzma. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. And again for three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A., unbelievable. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the match. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. This will mark their 13th win of the year. Not a bad number. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for MP. Well, you have to marvel at how well he picked apart that defense repeatedly found the right guy in the right spot at the right time. Clock at six. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Back to MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Now here's Jones. Defense right on him. It's hauled in by the Magic. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. A deep three from MP. And again, it's Orlando with a three. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Kuzma against Ben Carroll. Kuzma outside. Bagley a screen on Ben Carroll. Kuzma the pass to Bagley. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. Substitution on the court. A deep three from MP. It's off. So no problem for Orlando as they get the win. We saw two different teams tonight. One playing with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this build...
Hey, man.
your data about to be ready. Hey, hit me up. If it isn't Mr. Rookie of the Month. It's important to look your best on the road, and that's not lost on the Wizards. Here they are, coming into the arena earlier on. Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. In at the forward positions, Avdia and Kuzma. Andrew Shamit is out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Bagley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Magic. The forward spots, it's Wagner and Bancaro. Suggs out there with MP. And it's Carter in at the center position. And so off the tip, it's Washington's ball. You know, in the early stages of the season, Brent, what's something the front office is looking for in regards to their team? Well, I think it's all the strategy and time that went into building this roster if those things are starting to show themselves. Even small flashes of indications that the team is growing together and has the capability of getting where you want them to go. Now, here's MP. I've been vaguely missing his last shot. Hunter on the wing. Carter kicks to MP. And Carroll passes to Wagner. That three off the mark. And it's Washington's ball. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. MP, no good. First quarter, just over a minute played. Now here's Jones, guarded close. The pass to Kuzma. To the inside, six to shoot, and finish off by Bagley. What a feed from Kuzma. I like when he finds the open man, and so do they. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And recently, I mean, we've seen Kyle Kuzma turn things around, especially offensively. Yeah, great. Highs and lows in the early part of Kyle Kuzma's career, but a nice settled ground for him. Offensively, he's carried more responsibility and shown that he's capable of doing it. Now, here's Shannon. Jones dishes to Abdiya. Kuzma with a screen on Wagner. And 
Kuzma slams it in. Kyle Kuzma's body control exemplary on that play. Sets a solid pick and then spins out into the open space. Here's MP against Washington. He was really on his game. Fires from deep. Trills the three-pointer. And maybe a deep breath moment for them. They're now one for four to start the game. For Washington, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Pass to Bagley. Over Carter. Again, the Wizards score. 6-11, showing he's got a J. Marvin Bagley can be an offensive problem. Wagner on the wing. Magic moving the ball around. And he gets the button. MP's got five. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. It's tipped. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. Pass to Suggs. Back to MP. And again, it's Orlando with the three. That basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Shamit the pass to Bagley. And Jones has it in the corner. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And Bagley with a nice job of surveying there. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for Orlando. They trail by one. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. And then they made good adjustments along the way. Well, the great thing about watching that game was that we saw it through their offense and they showed a few different looks that they settled into and played well. Now Jones following the three-point attempt by MP. And the dunk by MP. Oh, that's a terrific pass by the big fella. Ben Carroll is adding that element to his game as his career progresses. Fifty-nine seconds left in the first quarter. Bagley sets a screen for Jones. With the drive. Another shot. Rebound by the Magic. Their last meeting was in this building where they were able to come out on top. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for them the last time these two squared off. Had a clear advantage on the backboard. We'll see if the other team will address that problem in this game because last game, man, they just got smoked on the boards. Top of the key, Bagley. Pass to Shamit. Shot clock at six. The shot's good from Kuzma. Kuzma's got his second basket of the night. The defense so concerned with Shamit and his shot-making ability, he makes the play that time. To the paint. MP, no good. Shamit, the pass to Kuzma. Off target from outside. And so it's MP making things happen for the Magic. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. It's been a pretty even game here after. He's checked in for Orlando. Suggs comes in for Cole Anthony. And the Wizards making a change here. Wizards trail by three. So on the floor for Washington. They've got Landry Shamit. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Abdiya. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Kispert in at the small forward. 
Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. MP, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't Take use your hands. You yes, have sir. to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And if you watch Poole enough, you're really going to appreciate that he can get it done in so many ways on the offensive end. And Orlando making a change here. Carter's checked in, and a switcher also for Washington. Bagley's checked in. Carter sets the pick for MP. MP drills the three. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Now, here's Avdia. He's covered by Ben Carroll. Now, Shaman. Scoreless thus far. Pool, no good. To GA, the Wizards with their trades over the summer, they have definitely hit the reset button for a rebuild. Yeah, it moved on from Beal and traded Porzingis as well. So kept Kuzma and brought in Pool to start the youth movement. Exciting times for the Wizards. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, guys. Well, Kyle Kuzma has always been a crazy confident person. He said, I've always had this incredible self-belief that no matter who I'm on the court with, I'm the best player. And that's gotten me to this level. That's gotten me to where I am. So my irrational confidence has always been a key thing for me. Kevin, back to you. Well, he owns it, David. I like that. Thanks. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Orlando. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. The first one falls. And what you appreciate about MP is how even keeled he is. He's someone his guys love playing with. Hans Wagner's checked in for Van Carroll. The Wizards also changing it up. Kisper comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Jones subbed in for Jordan Poole. So timeout call here. The first for Washington. MP really making a difference here. Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. to go between now and the three-point contest but it's always fun to talk about it let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event and maybe this list changes between now and all-star weekend but i don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now you look at mp and it's him all alone atop the voting it's pretty much a done deal that he'll be showing off his long-range skills in the three-point contest. Yep, and, and he's going to be scary to have to go up against if he's on that day. Nobody can shoot it like he can when he gets in a group. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Man, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. And there's the pass to Bagley. Shamit with it. Picked up by Suggs. Shamit the pass to Bagley. He kicks it to Kispert. Here's Jones. And the rejection by MP. Thirty seconds left in the second quarter. 
Isaac is screen on Jones. Bobbed up there for Isaac. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. In high quality numbers for him all season long. How about 81 from the line? And that one misses. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Van Carroll's checked in for Orlando. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Wizards. We've got 13 seconds left in the first half of the game. Bagley with a screen on Van Carroll. Kuzma can't get it to go. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end. They can't find a way to get the embers going. And that concludes the first half. Orlando out in front, up by 12. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. Good to see you and welcome. A lopsided game through two quarters and a big deficit for the Washington Wizards. Defensively, they haven't guarded the three-point line at all tonight. And you know they don't want to extend out to the point where... And looking at the players of the month, here are the winners from each conference. From the Western Conference, Luka Doncic. This isn't the first and it will not be the last one of these awards for Luka Doncic. A master at getting his own shot, as well as creating for others, simply unstoppable on offense. Also true. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And Carroll and Carter make up the inside pair. MP out there with Suggs. And it's Wagner in at the three. That's the group starting the second half for Jamal Mosley. Jones finds Shemp. Ice ball movement by Washington. Bagley sets a screen for Kuzma. Buries it from three-point range. Kuzma's got seven points in the game. And this is where Kuzma wants to just keep improving, find some consistency. He knows guys like him have to keep hitting threes to stay on the floor. A three from MP. And shot off. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. 11-point game. Passes it to Shamit. Kuzma against Van Carroll. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Greg, it just seems like every night Kyle Kuzma is going to put up double digits. And he has the potential to be a double-double threat. Just needs to get more aggressive on the glass. And the first one drops. And Kuzma, one of those forwards that can kind of go between. Plays the four or the small forward. And that's impressive versatility from this young player. Magic leading by nine. MP outside. Carter sets the pick for MP. Hands it from downtown. MP's got 31. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Kuzma outside. Pass to Bagley. Outside, Jones. Five on the clock. Wizards need to get a shot off here. They get it back and finish off by Bagley. Well, this is the level of activity that you want from Marvin Bagley. Relentless tonight on the offensive glass to the middle. What a move! MP! And if he 
can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And oh, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. The season's still in its fledgling state, but enough basketball has been played to see how this year's rookie class is shaping up. A chance now to see the rookie race that shows which first-year players are making a big impact early in the race for the Rookie of the Year hardware. You look at MP, what a rookie year he's having, guys, atop the rankings right now. And even though it might be a tight call, he's definitely the favorite. And what a feeling right now for him. I mean, sitting on top of the heap of all that young talent. That is no small achievement, even early on like this. I, I think it shows just how well he fits into playing at this level. And another miss by Washington. Orlando leading by 12. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. The NBA has a three-pronged approach to globalization. One is hosting games on foreign soil. Two, teach youngsters to play through academies and camps. And three, make broadcasts more accessible via television and the web. The returns, 15% growth year over year for the last decade. An opportunity in time to maybe be the biggest sport on earth. Kevin? Those are big plans. A lot of competition, but I love the way they think. D.A. thanks. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with Marvin Bagley the third, Brennan, it just feels like he's been snaking in his young career. Yeah, but Greg, you know this. If you can hang in there and stay confident and get a second chance, and with that second chance, maybe this opportunity for Marvin Bagley is going to be the one where we can show that talent. Remember, second overall pick back in 2018. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Van Carroll. One thirty-five left here in the third quarter. Here's Bagley. And he banks in the lane. Nine points for Marvin Bagley. Well, Bagley bringing it right now and taking his frame, presenting it for contact. MP, no good. Wizards trail by 15. Here's Shamit. It's hauled in by the Magic. Carter's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And a wide open look for MP. Again, the Magic score. Oh, great ball over there. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. MP really making a difference here. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Orlando making some changes. Mo Wagner's checked in for Wendell Carter. And Anthony subbed in for Jalen Sub. And here's Poole for three. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got four rebounds now tonight. And here's MP for three. Good on the three-point shot. MP's got 44. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point. hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Cool with it. Defended now by Wagner. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks from downtown. And another miss by Washington. And the Magic with possession. They're on a 16-5 run here. MP, no good. Here's Jones. Inside. Here's Liver. Isaac with some nice deep. And so it's Orlando closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect... Going with an almost entirely new group here. Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Wagner comes in for Jonathan Isaac. 
MPs checked in for Markel Fultz. And Jalen Suggs is subbed in for Anthony. So the Wizards five right now. In at the forward positions, Avdia and Kuzma. Tyus Jones out there with Landry Shamit. And it's Bagley in at the five, roaming the paint. Bagley kicks to Kuzma. Bagley with a screen on Bancaro. It's stolen by Carter. Down low. Wagner outside. And he's good on the three ball. Wagner's got himself on the board with three there. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for Orlando. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up-tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. MP, no good. Washington's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Abdiya dishes to Jones, and stolen by MP. Carter kicks to MP. The tray. And it's Shamit with the rebound. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Van Carroll against Kuzma. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Kuzma's got four points this quarter. Yeah, credit Kuzma for getting aggressive and finding this offensive rhythm in this contest. You can tell the team feeding off him now. From the arc. Rebound, Washington. Bagley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Jones. And here's Bagley. Inside. Over Carter. And it's Bagley that time on the assist by Kuzma. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Orlando. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at C. Yeah, they, they'd sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. He was extremely efficient offensively. Got good looks and really knocked down big shots all game long. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Wagner's checked in for Carter. Isaac comes in for Paolo Banquero. Markel Fultz is checked in for Wagner. And Anthony subbed in for Suggs. Wagner a screen on Poole. Here's MP. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's a determined drive from MP. Gets inside and forces that foul. That trip to the line is earned. Free throw good. MP. Off on that one. So he goes one for two at the line. And so Poole will bring it up for the Wizards. Trailing by 19. Gill kicks to Poole. Kispert, the pass to Poole. Kispert setting the pick for Poole. Lock at six. That one doesn't go. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. A three from MP. Rebounded by Omorui. And the Wizards with possession. Poole, the pass to Gill. And another miss by Washington. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. They poured it out and I could down it. That's what that boy's supposed to do. MP's Rookie of the Month? Good for him. I remember when I got my first. That's really cool. Knowing what I know about MP, 
this doesn't mean all that much to him. He's all about winning. He's all about being the best player that he can be. Awards, they don't mean that much to him. MP for Rookie of the Month. He earned it. This is just beginning for him, though. He's building that foundation right now. He's going to do whatever he want to do in this league. Money in the bank.
<laughs> You'll get about to be ready. Game time, MP. Let's get it. Anthem. We'll be right back, folks. Hey, everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. And tonight, it'll be the Orlando Magic going up against the Brooklyn Nets here in Barkley Center. Brian Anderson here, alongside Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, with Ali LaForce joining us from the floor. Still fairly early on in the season, Richard. How much are these guys worried about production right now? Uh, no matter the time of the year, guys are always worried about their production. I look, I remember preseason games where I wasn't playing well and I got frustrated. These guys are still competitive. They're always looking for results. A look at the opening lineup for the Orlando Magic. Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. Jalen Suggs out there with MP. And it's Wagner in at the small forward position. Now here's Wagner. Picked by Carter. And here's MP from outside. Claxton with a rebound. Pass to Thomas. Back to Smith. Down low. And it's Bridges with the jam. And Bridges refusing to settle for the layup. Locked in on throwing it down. Suggs, the pass to MP. From behind the arc. Sinks it from distance. Three. MP's got six. He's consistent from out there. Especially when you give him that kind of room. And Grant, this Nets team trying to set their identity at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, well, with the players they have on the wings, led by Mikael Bridges, they have the personnel to be disruptive. Long, mobile, and switchable. They give you lots of trouble. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. And here's MP from outside. And again, it's Orlando with a three. MP's got three threes to go so far. Outside Johnson. Pass to Thomas. Now here's Smith. Out to Bridges. Fires for three. Rebounded by Suggs. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Got up the court in a hurry. MP with an easy bucket. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of three from the floor. Bridges passes to Smith. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Back to Thomas. Shot clock at five. Screen by Claxton. The kick out to Johnson. Buries it from three. When you have a shooter like Cam Johnson, you're running that play with confidence. MP outside. 
Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Here's Thomas. Off target from outside. Orlando leading. MP, the pass to Wagner. Back to MP. Jacks up a three. Again, MP missing. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Johnson with a bucket. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And he comes up with a bucket. A combination of brute force and skill on the interior. Hollow Bancaro. Here's Thomas. Rebound by the Magic. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. On the wing, MP. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. Ben Carroll the screen. MP, the pass to Ben Carroll. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. That's on the defense there. When MP senses one of his guys is open, he hits him right. Bridges, he's checked in for Claxton. Thomas comes in for Johnson. And it's Smith in for Walker. MP with it. He's got 11. Isaac with a screen on Simmons. MP with it. And Bridges picks him up defensively. And it's Dorian Finney-Smith with the foul. That's his first foul. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And he lobs it up top! And the dunk by Isaac. Excellent mid-air feed to Isaac, who lifts off right on cue for the alley-oop slam. So for Orlando right now, Jalen Suggs out there with MP. Then it's Paolo Bancaro. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. And it's Wagner in at the five. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. From deep, MP. Oh, MP buries the triple. Such a well-rounded player. MP with his fingerprints just all over this game. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Ben Simmons has dealt with injuries, yes, but the mental aspect is also one that he's working on. He said, quote, being assertive and aggressive, I know who I am. I know I need to get to the rim and get buckets, and that's also going to help my teammates and get them going. Brian, they are all about regaining that confidence. Such a key right now. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff there. Here's Thomas. Fires in the triple. Thomas has got five. I know what they say, defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. You know, Richard, it's not every day that you get to see a point guard with the size that Ben Simmons possesses. Yeah, he is an anomaly, and that's also why he was the number one pick. In history, you can probably count on one hand the amount of guys that can do things that he can do at his size. Orlando has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. MP outside. From outside the arc. That's his 6 making 11 tries. And MP reminding the D how effective he is from deep. Nice 3 ball. And here's Smith. Still without a bucket. Thomas misses. Just under 3 and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Brooklyn trailing. Now here's Smith. And his last outing, 10 points for him. Here's Bridges. Good on the bucket. 13 points in the game. Thought that first quarter was good. He's been even better in the second. Brooklyn making some changes. Claxton, he's checked in for Simmons. And it's Johnson in for Bridges. Carter, he's checked in for Orlando. Franz Wagner comes in for Bancaro. Back to MP. We've got 108 left to play in the first half. 
Knocks down the long J. MP's got 11 here in the quarter alone. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Smith passes to Finney Smith. Back to Smith. Johnson with it. Nice D from Wagner. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the defense knows they got to cover MP very close. But he gets physical and exploits the coverage there for a foul. MP, two shots. He misses the free throw. Bridges, he's checked in for Finney Smith. Paolo Bancaro, he's checked in for Orlando. Good on the second one. You have to admire MP's obvious love for the game. This guy just wants to get out there and play hard. Smith outside. Pass to Bridges. Clock at four. The kick out to Johnson. Off the mark there with a three. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. And the basket by MP. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, and you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Here's Thomas. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Hey, <laughs> nice work of tracking the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. And the second free throw is good. And he can't make it three for three. And so it's Orlando. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Hey, three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possessions. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far. The second unit is doing some serious damage. So many points coming from their bench. Huge advantage tonight. Mm, calling up the... Now let's go ahead and recognize... Thanks, as always, for watching... As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. Johnson at the four with Claxton at center. Cam Thomas out there with Dennis Smith. And it's Bridges in at the three. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And for the Berlin native, Franz Wagner. His NBA career is off to a terrific start. Yeah, at 6'10", he's extremely versatile. He's already a talented scorer at all. Perfect execution from Ben Caro. Finding a solution to a problem, MP using the pick and roll to disrupt the defense and create quality looks. Brooklyn has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Pass to Thomas. Smith with a screen on MP. Thomas, that's good. Thomas has got his third basket on the night right there. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. MP outside from the arc. And again, it's Orlando with a three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Now Smith. No made baskets yet. Claxton passes to Johnson. 
Now Bridges puts up a three. Nope, four for seven now. Pass to Suggs. From deep, MP. Rebound Brooklyn. Claxton's got four rebounds now. For Brooklyn, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Bridges finds Smith. Over Carter. Smith no good. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. MP shot is off. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. There's the screen by Johnson. Smith passes to Johnson. Here's Thomas. Up and over Carter. That one's wide left. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. All NBA players play with confidence. But, RJ, surely there are some that play with too much confidence. Well, look, there's always a guy who doesn't realize he's being left open for a reason. Some players just don't understand their role with their team. Usually there's a vet that needs to tell them how it is. Outside Johnson. Back to Smith. Outside Johnson. Here's Thomas. Here's Claxton. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Oh, he'll wear you down with the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. Orlando calls timeout. Checked in for Brooklyn. And the Magic making a change here as well. Isaac, he's checked in for Ben Carroll. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Well, through NBA Africa, the league is putting a lot of resources into growing the game there. Hall of Famer Dikembe Mutombo is an investor, and he said, it's always been my dream since I got into the league. I want to see the NBA on my continent. Africa is a place full of treasure, and I'm happy to see it taking place. Brian? Outstanding. Look forward to that. Thanks, Ali. Smith no good. The Magic have got just two of six in the second half. From deep, MP. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Thomas passes to Smith. Tries the nine-footer. Here's Claxton. And he banks in the layup. Claxton's got four points this quarter. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Wagner outside. MP scanning the floor. And he lobs it up. Nice catch and finish on the lob. And the Magic lead by 12. Smooth finish off a terrific feed. Man, the timing and execution couldn't have been any better right there. So it's Brooklyn now. They'll be hosting Toronto for their next one. Pass to Thomas. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. At the line, two times. And the first one at the line is good. Brooklyn making some change. Changes for Brooklyn. Claxton comes in for Watford. And it's Walker in for Thomas. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Orlando. MP comes in for Fultz. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Nets said to the team. He told his players, we are right there, guys. This game is ours. Continue to work hard, and we will win this game. Okay, thanks, Allie. On the court for Orlando, Isaac in at the four with Carter Jr. playing the five. Cole Anthony out there with MP. And it's Ben Carroll in at the small forward from deep. MP. Claxton with a rebound. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the play calling or the player himself. Left side, Walker. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. 
Well, I don't know what coach said to him at half, but his shooting has been tremendous here in the second. Back to MP. Out to Anthony. MP outside. Fires the three. Here's Carter. And there's two. Work on the glass. Paying off that time. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Some changes for Brooklyn. Johnson, he's checked in for Finney Smith. Thomas comes in for Walker. And it's Smith in for Ben Simmons. Wagner's checked in for Orlando. Suggs comes in for Anthony. And it's Thomas off the drive. That one rolls around and rims out. There are nights where the shots just don't fall. Unfortunately, I know how that feels. There has been nothing for him this quarter. Ever since halftime, he's lost all of his touch. From eight feet, it's rebounded by Bancaro. Bancaro's got a six rebound on the night. Here's MP. Beyond the arc. That shot is off. The Nets have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Here's Thomas. Guarded by Van Carroll. To the inside. MP outside. Pass to Suggs. Stolen by Bridges. Here's Thomas. Up and over Carter. And again, it's the Nets missing. And Carroll passes to Suggs. Now here's MP. Defense right on him. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, Van Carroll throws it down. Get up, Paolo. Rock in the rim. For the Nets, this one not looking good. Takes a 13-footer. Here's Thomas. Man, terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. Down low. MP drops it in. You have to like the composure that MP had to get that finish inside. Here's Thomas. He's checked by Carter. Shoots from 14. Rebound by the Magic. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Here's Ben Carroll. The rebound by Bridges. And the Nets with possession here. Trailing by eight to the middle. Claxton passes to Johnson. That one's good for two. Going to work in the mid-range. This is how confident Johnson is from this area. And an intentional foul right there. His third personal foul. Here's MP. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second So the first one drops. And that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And it's an eight point ball game. And a comeback here looking very unlikely. Absolutely everything would have to go their way at this point. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Pass to Suggs. Back to MP. Wagner, the pass to MP. The three ball. Ah! Missed it. So it's Orlando picking up the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson along... shooting like this, they're going to start calling you one of the greats. My cousin says best. That felt good.
Yo! Keep shooting. 
<laughs> You're getting about to be ready. A good game, man. The Magic getting off the bus earlier on, a sharp-dressed and very confident group. And you've got it on 2K Sports for Wednesday night action in the NBA. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. And more and more in the NBA, Greg, we're seeing teams face each other twice in a row, just like this. Do the players like this kind of scheduling, you think? Oh, listen, players are in favor of anything that cuts down on travel. And this is one of the ways to do it. The, the league's doing a lot to make the season less of a grind. A look at the starting group for the Magic. A post pairing, Isaac and Carter Jr. Anthony is out there with MP. And it's Wagner in at the small forward position. MP, no good. 
Jones looking for an opening. Carter pulls it in. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Magic. Their last encounter was in Orlando. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. And then they made good adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Bagley sends a screen for Poole. Knocks down the three ball. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Magic have gone two or three here to start off the game. To the middle, here's MP. And MP throws it down. You love it when a point guard is eager to reward open men. And Cole Anthony delivering the ball on time and on target. And Doris, what would you say has to happen for the Wizards to take that next step? I think one of the things that's absolutely key to an organization's success is being able to make the right selections with their draft picks. It's not easy. It's not an exact science. But it's been problematic for this organization in the past. That has got to change. Here's Jones following the basket by MP. Idly with a screen on Isaac. Kuzma. A three-pointer off the mark. The Magic have gone four of five from the field so far. MP against Poole. Another miss by MP. Washington's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Avdia, the pass to Bagley. He's it up and in off the pretty assist. Yeah, Kyle Kuzma, we think of him as a scorer, but that was a tough target to miss. Wide open. MP against Poole. Carter sets the pick for MP. <laughs> The Magic shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Shooting for Orlando. And B at the line for two. Free throw good, MP. You guys, a big part of what makes MP special is his incredible work ethic. This is a guy who's just always in hustle mode every play, trying to do more for his team. And he makes both free throws. Here's Washington now. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Here's Avdia. And stolen by Wagner. Jumps up and slam dunk by Anthony. Well, starting that whole thing off is the steal, the anticipation by Wagner. Just making an impact where he can. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Trailing by two. Adorn's talking about the young Franz Wagner. He's already proven how valuable he is. Oh, Kevin, there's no doubt. For Wagner, this is a swing man who does a little bit of everything. He can shoot it. He can put it on the deck. He can make his teammates look good. A uh, scorer from all three levels. There is not a lot to pick at where Franz Wagner is concerned. Here's Jones after the made shot from Cole Anthony. Kuzma outside. And again, Washington no good boy a wide open shot from his favorite spot that is one he'd like to have back mp no good wizards trail by four pass to jones cool with the screen for jones and it's sent back by isaac well that's six foot eleven sending it back jonathan isaac woohoo MP finds Isaac. Jones against MP. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got three assists in the game. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Now, here's Avdia. Still without a basket. against Isaac. 
Six on the shot clock. And the pass to Jones. To halt the run. And another miss by Washington. I know he wants to answer the three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best Three. shot possible. Three point. Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. The guys are making their shots. That's critical. And always a bit of risk on those long passes. Lucky the D couldn't come up with it there. It'll count. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Orlando Magic with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room headed. Magic. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Magic. A, a huge part of their offense pushing the ball looking for fast break opportunities always a good idea another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers great job converting on those chances on the court for Orlando we've got Markel Fultz Franz Wagner is out there with Wagner then it's MP and it's Vitadze in its center Davis looking for an opening Here's Holmes, and it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Wizards as Washington retains possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Baldwin has checked in for Washington. So timeout called here, the first for the Wizards. And now, in the first half of December, more games under our belt. The power ranking starting to take shape. Take a look at the Mavericks. They couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. And right now, for the Magic, they love the situation they're in right now. Playing very well, but looking ahead, they know there's still a lot left to prove. Now here's Jones, following the miss shot by Rashawn Holmes. Back to Jones. Passes it to Kuzma. Holmes with a screen on Wagner. Shot from the wing. Jump shot is good. Kuzma's got four points now in the quarter. Excellent recognition from Kuzma. Solid running these screen and rolls. Wagner with a screen for MP. And again, it's the magic from deep. Doris, we're in the age of podcasts and social media, and we hear more than ever from the players, even right after game. <laughs> Kevin, I think that's probably the only danger, right, when emotions are running high. But I actually love the new age of league media. The reason being, the players can now be in charge of their own narrative. They have content, and they know how valuable that is. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Jordan Poole has more freedom to create than ever before. He said there's a small group of people who get that chance. You have to make the most of your opportunity and put yourself in position to be successful. I never want any moment to be too big. Kevin, the ball is in his court now. Yep, just the way he wants it. All right, D.A., thanks so much. Here's MP following the bucket by the Wizards. Outside Anthony. Back to MP. Basket good. 25 points for MP. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Jones, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Here's MP. Back to Anthony. MP outside. Wagner has screen on Jones. MP passes to Wagner. Orlando moving the ball around. Four on the clock. And here's MP for three. Washington with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Jones the pass to Holmes. Here's Poole. Here's Kuzma. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Kuzma's got six here in this quarter. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. Make some noise. Your 
So for the Wizards, Bagley heaves checked in for Rashawn Holmes. And Abdiya subbed in for Kyle Kuzma. Orlando also making some changes. Carter, he's checked in for Goga Bitadze. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Mo Wagner. And it's Gary Harris in for Wagner. A nice shot by MP. Reminding defenses that they have to respect his range. MP took it real confident from deep. Jones with the bounce pass. Bagley kicks to Poole. Carter against Bagley. Back to Poole. Bagley the screen. Again the miss by Poole. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. MP. And that one's good. MP. Talent on full display for MP. This guy's putting on a clinic. Jones against Anthony. Now, here's Avdia. Defense is right there. Here's Poole. And count it from 19 feet away. Poole's got 10 points in the game. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. And here's MP for three. MP. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got six assists in the game. MP against Poole. Hagley with a screen on MP. A three ball. And so it's MP making things happen for the Magic. He had some kind of quarter from long range. Winds up with 15 points from beyond the arc. We'll return shortly. Welcome to halftime. Poor Palo. You never see an injury like this. Unfortunate part of the game. Hopefully he recovers as quickly as possible. And as for our matchup, what a tremendous first half it was for the Orlando Magic. Well, they understand. And that concludes. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half, got inside on demand. Now oh, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. Sliding in at the wing spots, it's Poole and Avdia. Marvin Bagley is out there with Kyle Kuzma, and it's Jones in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Now, here's Poole. Following the miss by MP. Jones, the pass to Poole. Elbow shot. Here's Bagley. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Personal, he's a real wrecking First ball inside. Once Bagley has solid That's position, you almost have to foul him. And so Bagley nails them both. Magic leading by 20. MP looking around. Fires the three. Rebound, Washington. Bagley's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Kuzma outside. Back to Jones. To the inside. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by Jones. Kuzma's got eight. That is Kyle Kuzma asserting himself against quality defense. Nice finish. The three from MP. The Magic again can hit. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Here's Poole. Rebounded by Isaac. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. And that one's good, Wagner. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been triples. 
Jones against Anthony. Jones drives in. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Isaac. The layup missed. Yeah, this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Pass to Abdiya. And it's sent back by Carter. This is the intimidation factor you are looking for from Wendell Carter Jr. And what an imposing presence. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. I think this is what we call, quote, running a team off the floor. They have been fantastic in transition. So it's the Wizards now after the Magic pick up two. And the wide open shot from Abdiya. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists tonight. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Any trip that ends with an MP slam, yes, sir, that's perfect. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And a switcher also for Orlando. Harris has checked in. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. And they call an illegal screen here. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage, for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. The Wizards have gone 2 of 7 from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvement, sir. Jones finds Poole. Back to Jones. Now, here's Kispert. Guarded by Harris. Three on the clock. Offensive rebound. Goes up again. And it's sent back by Isaac. And he's able to get it back. The Wizards making a switch here. Holmes checked in. And the Magic making a change here as well. Wagner's checked in for Jonathan Isaac. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. That's good from Kispert. A great three-point shooter in college, Corey Kisper, who played at Gonzaga, has transferred that skill, Doris, to this NBA level. And Kevin, you know that guys who can shoot it with range are always in demand. The extra distance doesn't affect Corey one bit. He's very solid from the mid-range in a shooter's league. He's got his opportunities. Corey Kisper. And here we can check out the story for Marvin Bagley. And guys, I think the grind of the season is catching up with him a little bit. It comes across in his rebounding numbers. Over the past five games, they've taken a tumble. He seems to be wearing down a bit. Maybe tonight, though, he can get his legs back under him. Fultz, he's checked in for Orlando. One oh five left in the third quarter of the game. Gill kicks to Kispert. Pass to Gill. And another miss by Washington. Orlando's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Orlando moving the ball around. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. When he anticipates a whistle is coming, MP so good putting up those shots. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. So for the Wizards, Kyle Kuzma comes in for Gill. And Baldwin subbed in for Avdia. Goga Bitadze is checked in for Orlando. Franz Wagner comes in for Gary Harris. And again, Washington, no good. Orlando, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And Orlando making a change here. And 
some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Magic. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. On the court for Orlando, a post pairing Isaac and Carter Jr. MP out there with Anthony, and it's Wagner in at the three, the small four. Now here's Jones, the pass to Poole. There's the three. Here's Holmes. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got rebound number five here tonight. MP, no good. Wizards trail by 14. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Kuzma passes to Poole. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got six rebounds now in the game. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. MP's shot is good. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Marvin Bagley's checked in for Washington. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Kuzma outside. There's the feed to Bagley. Good work defensively by Carter. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg. And he is highly accurate tonight. Now, here's Kuzma. We've seen a few playing tournaments already, Doris. I like it. How do you like it? I absolutely love, Kevin, that it has emphasized success in the regular season. A huge difference between a six seed and a seven seed. So you give teams something to play for so much further into the year. Obviously, you give more teams more hope. It has been perfect. Now here's Jones following the miss by MP. Bagley in the post. Harder on him. Bagley, no good. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's MP. Wagner from long range. Good, and the assist goes to MP. And the Magic lead by 21. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Magic. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for MP. What a relentless scoring night for this guy. In attack mode all evening. Here's Jones. It's hauled in by the Magic. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Shot from the low block and misses it off the right side of the rim. So it's the Wizards now. They trail by 18. About three seconds between shot and game play. Boy, smart decision from Kuzma right there. Skilled getting the basketball to his teammate. And so the Magic can now just hold on to the ball. MP finds Anthony. And here's MP for three. Buries the long-range jumper. MP's got 55. But the truth is they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with... MP's burning those nets down. Yeah.